Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. The great Bill Russell once said, concentration and mental toughness are the margins of victory. I 100% agree with this. And I know that the games where I was on fire were the games where my mental toughness was off the charts. I want this for you too in every game. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to improve mental toughness in basketball. Let's get right into it. In this video, I'm going to share with you the key to developing resilience in basketball. Then I'm going to show you how to develop mental toughness without touching a basketball. Last, I'm going to tell you the shocking truth about how the greats in basketball develop mental toughness. Let's get right into the key to developing resilience in basketball. It all starts with your mental pre-performance checklist and routine. Some people call it a pre-practice routine. Some people call it pre-game routine. Just look at it objectively speaking. It's your performance. And what you want to do before you even set one foot on the court is you want to prepare your mind and your body mentally, right? What's the first smallest action you can do? You can start imagining yourself being successful, right? How about this? Let me give you something. How about imagining shooting and missing a shot? But then imagine telling yourself a word I'm going to tell you coming up or a phrase I should say, next shot, best shot. And all of a sudden, you take that next shot and you make it. You can actually play that movie in your mind without even setting a one foot on the court. See, it's all about preparing yourself to get ready for high level production on the court. And it all to me starts with your mentality. I can do that without even going to the basketball court. Where's my mind to prepare my mind and body to get ready to play at a high level? Do I have a checklist, right? Do, is, are there certain key performance indicators I want to make sure that are checked off that allow me to get relaxed and ready to play? What are they? For me, it was a couple of things. So I could be out of my head and on the court and looking to help my teammates get better, understand the coach's playbook for that particular game because scouting, uh, scouting reports change my team, right? And then last, what happened last possession? See, when you're out of your head and you're on a court, you're present, and that's the key. It's all about your approach, and to me, it starts with your mental pre-performance, checklist, and routine. Before I tell you how to develop mental toughness without touching a basketball, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out videos daily to help develop you into a premium basketball player. Don't miss out on the content. Click the subscribe button. Now I'm going to tell you how to develop mental toughness without touching a basketball. Visualization. It actually rhymes. Visualization leads to actualization, and I kind of led to it earlier, saying that even before you get on the basketball court, what can you imagine putting your mind and body through? To me, again, it was a simple checklist. OK, for my what you call KPIs, my key performance indicators, there were certain things I wanted to do to prepare myself to play mentally and physically. So visualization allow, allows me, I should say, to actually be right here where I'm at, visualizing myself. And I even gave you a situation. I can visualize myself missing a shot. Then I can visualize, then I can visualize myself actually saying next shot, best shot and making that shot. So when that happens in the game, no matter if, when it happens in the game, when it happens in practice, I've already rehearsed it in my mind. So I can have confidence. I may even miss that shot. It's okay. But my confidence grew because I actually visualized myself doing it. I used my imagination. See, we also call that concept to creation. Concept you can't see, creation you can, right? I was once told that things are created twice. First is creating your mind, right, with mental imagery. Second, it's actually created. So I always kind of ask people a question about shooting. How many shots are we actually shooting? People will say one. I say two because the first shot you shot in your mind. The second one, you showed me what you were thinking. See, it all starts with, to me, visualization so we can actually actualize the skill that we want to actually mimic that we have in our mind and also and always keep a positive self-image so if I am making a mistake, I can say things like next shot, 
I can say things like next shot, best shot, or always focus on what's coming next so I can stay present. Now that you know how to improve your mental toughness through planning and visualization, I want you to comment below with the word think to let me know your mind is strong and prepared. Go ahead and type think in the comments. Now I'm going to tell you the shocking truth about how the greats develop mental toughness. It's shocking because it's so simple. It's three words, positive self-talk. Also, what goes along with positive self-talk is having a positive self-image, right? Now, what I want to do Now, what I want to do right now is give you an example of having positive self-talk. A simple way of understanding this is for every negative thing that can happen, possibly out of my control, and it's a matter of when it happens. If I make an honest play, that's an honest mistake, didn't go my way. I want to have a positive self-talk comment phrase I can say to myself to keep myself engaged. Because it's all about staying present. When you're present, you have a high awareness. At the end of the day, it all comes down to who can adapt and adjust the quickest. Those are the players and eventually the teams that win the most. So when it comes down to it, when the negative happens, I want to have at least two positive things I can say to myself. I missed a shot. I can go to next shot is best shot. Let's say if that doesn't work because I missed the second one. Now my confidence is down. What I'm going to do, if this is negated, I'm going to go to this one and this one here may be the same thing. Next shot, best shot. Always Look forward to what's coming next. Stay focused, Charlie. You work hard. See, I'm talking to myself and I'm edifying myself. The word is edify, right? I'm edifying myself because I want to build myself up, not tear myself down. Okay? So for every negative thing that happens, you want to have at least one to two positive things. So if one positive thing does not work, it gets negated out right you have one or two more right but that's what the greats do and this stuff again to me is i write down this word and i want to make sure that you see it right you got to rehearse this stuff right this stuff this you know waiting to the game to do this is too late rehearse it it's called the rehearsal effect right and with my rehearsal effect it's i've practiced this right i'm not just waiting till the game starts to, to do this to see if it works that's too late because now my focus mind is going to be too occupied but if i can rehearsal this i can practice this i can actually practice it right now without even moving a physical muscle again going back to visualization that can create actualization being still i can use my imagination Right? I can rehearsal it. I can practice this positive self-talk. I can go through a, a mock situation. A mock situation being that I can pretend something went wrong and I put myself up and I will actually pay attention to my feelings. Right? To see, hey, you know what? Did that work for me? Was that corny? Hey, let me really go to something when I really need it. I can actually execute it so it can keep me back present and aware so I can continue to do what? adjust and adapt to stay uh, abreast with what's going on in the game, right? Right, so rehearse this stuff, right? Waiting to do this stuff in the game is way too late. That's what the greats do, and I want you to become great, right? I want you to steal their traits and emulate what they do 
and you you become just like them to understand that a lot of this stuff starts with your mentality. And our mentality can create our reality if we allow it. Now that you know how to improve mental toughness in basketball, how would you like to have a guide that covers all the must-know basketball principles in what situations to apply them and the mentality principles behind them? Well, you're in luck. If you click on the link in the description of this video below, you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it. Build up your resiliency with your mentality and keep attacking.